The Lonely Hearts Killers, A Tale of Deception and Murder True Crime Chronicles Introduction Welcome to True Crime Chronicles, where we unearth haunting stories from the depths of history. Today, we delve into the chilling tale of Martha Beck and Raymond Fernandez, infamous as The Lonely Hearts Killers. Active in the late 1940s and early 1950s, they lured victims through Lonely Hearts ads and cold-bloodedly murdered them for financial gain. Join us as we unveil the dark secrets behind this deadly duo. The Lonely Hearts Connection Martha Beck and Raymond Fernandez's paths converged through a shared longing for love and companionship. Martha, a deeply troubled woman, had experienced a tumultuous childhood marked by abuse and neglect. Born in Florida in 1920, she became pregnant as a teenager and was forced to give her baby up for adoption, leaving emotional scars that haunted her for life. By her early thirties, Martha's emotional distress intensified, and she became desperate for affection and escape from her painful past. Raymond Fernandez, a man of Spanish descent, was born in Hawaii in 1914. A skilled con artist, he was well-versed in the art of manipulation. Utilizing his charming personality and eloquent language skills, he managed to swindle money from numerous women, leaving a trail of heartbroken victims behind him. In 1947, Martha and Raymond's paths crossed through a chance encounter. Both had lost their respective partners to illnesses, and their shared sense of loneliness and longing for love created a unique connection between them. They soon discovered their mutual ability to exploit the emotions of others, forming the twisted bond that would shape their future together. The charade begins. Armed with a scheme to exploit lonely and unsuspecting individuals, Martha and Raymond posed as lovelorn singles seeking companionship. Their modus operandi involved crafting eloquent and alluring letters that portrayed them as caring, sensitive individuals seeking true love. Little did their victims know that behind these beautifully penned words lay a dark agenda. Using the Lonely Hearts columns of various newspapers, Martha and Raymond sought out vulnerable individuals looking for love and affection. Their letters were carefully tailored to prey on the deepest desires and vulnerabilities of their targets, enticing them into their web of deceit. In one of their earliest victims, Martha preyed on a wealthy widow, claiming that she was a young and attractive woman seeking love and security. Raymond, assuming the identity of a suave and handsome military officer, joined in the deception, promising the widow a bright future together. Murder for Profit The Lonely Hearts Killer's sinister plot took a dark turn when they realized the financial potential of their scheme. Recognizing the opportunity to capitalize on their victims' savings and valuables, Martha and Raymond escalated their deception to a more dangerous level. The murders began in 1947, when they targeted the wealthy widow Martha had initially deceived. In a cruel twist of fate, Martha's own desperation for love and security became a catalyst for her willingness to take a life. The couple meticulously planned the murder, making it appear as if the widow had tragically taken her own life, concealing any evidence of their involvement. The Trail of Death the duo's killing spree left a trail of victims across the United States and beyond. Traveling from state to state, they sought out individuals who had advertised themselves in Lonely Hearts columns, unsuspecting of the danger that awaited them. The Lonely Hearts killers operated with cold efficiency, exploiting the vulnerability of their victims and gaining their trust before ruthlessly taking their lives. Each murder was premeditated, meticulously planned, and executed with callous precision. Martha and Raymond's victims varied in age and background, but they all shared one common thread, the pursuit of love and happiness. However, their dreams were shattered as they fell victim to the cruel intentions of the deadly duo. The killings were as cold and calculated as they were heart-wrenching. The capture and confession law enforcement eventually caught up with Martha and Raymond, but not before their reign of terror claimed several lives. Their capture was a result of a combined effort from various police agencies, who worked tirelessly to put an end to their ruthless killing spree. After their arrest, the couple showed little remorse for their heinous acts. Instead, 
They openly admitted to the murders, providing chilling accounts of their crimes. The extent of their brutality shocked investigators and the public alike, leaving a haunting impression that would endure for decades. The Trial and Public Outrage As the trial unfolded, the nation watched with horror and disbelief at the extent of Martha and Raymond's deception. The courtroom became a theater of emotions as the details of their chilling crimes were laid bare for all to hear. Public outrage grew, demanding justice for the innocent lives lost to this heartless duo. The chilling accounts of their victims and the manipulation that led to their deaths left a scar on the collective memory of society, questioning how such evil could lurk behind the facade of love. The Psychology of Deception Psychologists and criminologists analyzed the minds of Martha Beck and Raymond Fernandez, seeking to understand the complexities that drove them to commit such heinous acts. The mix of childhood trauma, manipulation, and shared fantasies offered insights into their psychopathic personalities. Experts examined the dynamics of their toxic relationship, where each fueled the other's darkest desires, leading to a spiral of violence and deception. The case of the Lonely Hearts Killers continues to be a haunting example of the dangers that can arise when vulnerable individuals fall under the influence of dangerous predators. Legacy and Reflection The legacy of the Lonely Hearts Killers endures as a reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows of human relationships. Their story has served as a cautionary tale, highlighting the importance of scrutinizing online connections and remaining vigilant against deception and manipulation. The tragic fate of their victims serves as a somber reminder to be cautious when searching for love and companionship, especially in a world where online connections can hide dark secrets and malicious intentions. In conclusion, the chilling tale of Martha Beck and Raymond Fernandez, the Lonely Hearts Killers, serves as a haunting reminder that true evil can disguise itself as love. As we conclude this grim chronicle, we encourage you to delve into history's darkest chapters to better understand the human psyche and protect ourselves from those who exploit vulnerabilities for their sinister ends. If you found this detailed and captivating video intriguing, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on more gripping true crime stories. Share this video with others, and together let's explore the depths of human behavior and the resilience of the human spirit.